the Budgetarian Tech Review. My name is Mimi and sasamahan ko kayo mag-check ng mga equipment at mga gamit na pang home office na pasok sa inyong budget. Kaya naman kung bago kayo sa ating channel, please consider subscribing. So for today's video, share ko sa inyo yung recent item na binili ko sa Shopee which is itong keyboard na nakita nyo sa intro. So, if you wanna learn kung okay ba siya, pasok ba siya sa budget, saan ko siya binili, magkano, ayan, please stay tuned until the end of our video. Okay, so guys, I actually bought this a couple of weeks ago. Diniliver siya bago pa malif yung ECQ or yung Extended Community Quarantine. Let me get to the story why I bought it. Kasi yung keyboard natin before, yung black, syempre, when you have kids in the house, pinaglalaroan nila. They actually play Roblox and The Sims here sa PC ko. Nagulat na lang ako na one day, yung space bar ko is already cracked. So, papakita ko siya dito sa inyo sa screen. Ayan, hindi namin alam nung husband ko kung kailan nangyari at kung sino sa kanila yung nakabasag. But at that point, I thought, it's time for a replacement kasi nga, ayun, syempre, for me who's working at home, imagine mo, 8 hours kang nakaupo sa work. For me, it's more than that because I also do editing, di ba? So, I thought to myself, why not splurge a little? So, I was looking for a mechanical keyboard, ayan. Most of the keyboards right now, have a rubber or membrane under it para mas tahimik and it's definitely much cheaper than the mechanical keyboard. So, mechanical keyboards have their own. Meron silang sariling switch tiki sa bawat key sa bottom. So, I was looking at it and I found this steampunk pink mechanical daw keyboard. So, I ordered it online and ito na nga siya. Okay, so first impression, I really like the color. Parang sakura pink color. Yan, hindi siya yung bright, hindi siya matapang. It's just really right. Marami silang option dun sa shop na yun. This one comes together with the mouse. Siyempre, magka-pair siya. So, kinuha ko na din siya. So far, yung typing experience, ang difference dun sa, from my last keyboard, mas tahimik siya. Which is a surprise for me because I was expecting that you know, mechanical keyboard kasi guys are really loud. There's a distinct thunk when you press a key. And for this one, hindi, I discovered na hindi pala talaga siya mechanical. So, papakita ko siya sa inyo dito. If you remove yung cap, kasi one of the things about mechanical keyboards is you can change these keys. They're customizable. So, ito, naka-customize din siya guys. Kaya lang, when you remove it, you will definitely see na it's a membrane keyboard. So, rubber pa rin yung nasa ilalim. Kasi, the reason why you're gonna get mechanical keyboard is para mas light sa wrist mo yung pagta-type. You don't really have to press it really hard. Kahit half press lang, magta-type talaga yung letter. So, ayun. Medyo na-disappoint ako na membrane lang siya. But I guess, given the price point na 1,327 na meron ka ng keyboard and mouse, I would say it's definitely a worth it buy. Lalo na kung halimbawa gusto mo ng pink or you know you're building a color theme for your home office. So maganda siya guys tingnan. Ayun nga lang, I was really looking forward to the mechanical feel of a mechanical keyboard. So here's the comparison between the sound of my last keyboard which is also a membrane keyboard and this keyboard. Okay, so guys, punta na tayo sa pros and cons. Pros, I like this one because there's a LED light. Pwede ako mag-type even though dim lang yung gagamitin kong ilaw sa gabi kasi my old keyboard doesn't have that. Maganda din yung keyboard light niya. So, it's bright. I can see the letters very well. For the mouse naman, very responsive naman siya. Hindi ko na kailangan ng mouse pad or anything. I could just lay it here on the table and it 
It's really responsive. Hindi rin mahirap i-click yung buttons niya. It's very soft to touch. Although it's not a silent mouse per se. Meron kasi ako mga silent mouse and okay rin lang sa akin because the sound tells me na nag-push through yung pag-click ko. Ang maganda pa dito sa mouse is meron siyang different colors to choose from. You have there the red, the purple, blue, and pink. Ayan. So, depende sa trip nyo and sa mood nyo, pwede nyo siyang palitan. Punta naman tayo sa cons, guys. So, cons for this keyboard, gusto ko sana yung font yung medyo madali sa mata. Medyo easy sa eyes. Um, kasi yung font na ginamit nila is medyo masculine, medyo boxy for me. And like I mentioned, this is a membrane keyboard. Sometimes may miss yung letter. And I don't know guys, if napansin nyo, during our sound test, it's a little bit squeaky. Like, pag nagta-type ako, there's always that squeaky sound when I press on the backspace and enter button. But other than that, it's very functional. It looks great. I love pink kasi pink is a very relaxing color for me. And um, I love that it comes in that color, itong keyboard and mouse na ito. Ayun. So guys, again, is it worth it for its price? Definitely. Especially kung ikaw yung mahilig sa theme color na home-based setup or home office. And if you want to match up your equipment. Ayun nga lang, again, I wish it could have been a true mechanical keyboard. Guys, this keyboard and mouse are available in different colors in the shop. I would just put the link down below on the description box and pin comment if gusto nyo siyang i-check and gusto nyo ring umorder ng same thing for your home office setup, then the links will be below. Okay, next time we'll review another home-based equipment. Kung meron kayong gustong i-check ko or kung meron kayong questions, just put it on the comment section below and I'll try to get back to you. Thanks for watching up to this point and I'll see you again on our next video. Bye!